In this video, we are going to talk about the equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines, we know are lines that do not cross, their slopes are equal to one another. So two sample equations of parallel lines are y equals 5x plus 2 and y equals 5x minus 4. These we know are parallel because their slopes are equal to one another. Perpendicular lines we know are lines that form right angles and their slopes are negative reciprocals of one another. The negative indicates that one slope is positive, one is negative. Sometimes these are also called opposite reciprocals. And reciprocal means that the fraction is flipped upside down. So given the same first sample equation, y equals 5x plus 2, an equation of a line that is perpendicular to that is y equals negative 1 fifth x minus 4. 5 and negative 1 fifth are considered to be negative reciprocals of one another. Let's take a look at some sample questions to see if we can determine if lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. In number one, we have y equals 2x plus 5 and y equals 2x minus 4. Since the slopes are the same as one another, these two lines are parallel to one another. In number two, y equals 3x plus 5 and y equals negative 1 third x minus 4. These two slopes are negative reciprocals, so these lines are perpendicular to each other. In number three, these look a little bit different because we don't see two lines that are in slope intercept form. Instead, number three relates to horizontal and vertical lines. So x equals four is a vertical line and we know that any vertical line has undefined slope. Y equals two is a horizontal line and we know that any horizontal line has zero slope. But it can be hard to tell if undefined zero are negative reciprocals of one another when one's a number and one's a word. So what helps for these is if you just think about x equals 4, so if I draw a quick set of axes here, x equals 4 is a vertical line at 4, and y equals 2 is a horizontal line at 2. And you can see that any vertical line and any horizontal line are in fact perpendicular to one another. In number four, we have to do a little bit of manipulating before we can identify and compare the slopes. So I'm going to take each equation and isolate the y values so that they are in slope intercept form. When I do that, I see that both of the equations have a slope of two and therefore these two lines are parallel to each other. In number five, if I do a little manipulating here, I get y equals negative 2x plus 4 and y equals 4x minus 2. The slopes of these lines are negative 2 and 4. They are not equal to each other. They are not negative reciprocals of each other. So we say these are neither parallel or perpendicular. And for number six, we can simplify this and get this into slope intercept form, but this is in point slope form, which means the slope is this value right in front of the parentheses. We see that they're equal here, so these two equations in number six are parallel. So that's the first type of common question that we are going to see relating to equations of parallel and perpendicular lines, where we basically classify if the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Sometimes, though, we're actually asked to write the equation of the line, and we're given a little bit of information. We're given an initial line. We're given, do we want the lines to be parallel or perpendicular? And we're given a point on the line. For these questions, the easiest method is going to be to use point slope form, which, just as a reminder, is y minus y1 equals m, parentheses, x minus x1. The reason this is going to be the simplest method is because all of these problems are giving us a point on the line. Um, so it's a little bit more direct than using slope intercept form. 
So if we want a line that's parallel to y equals x plus 5, we know that it has to have the same slope as y equals x plus 5. And that tells me that my slope, m, has to be 1. So I'm going to take all of that information and I'm going to plug it into point slope form. Lots of ones to keep track of here. And if you notice that you're going to have the minus and negative, you could go ahead and change that in right away. And this is what our equation looks like in point slope form. Now, if we wanted it in slope intercept form, we could certainly manipulate the equation so that it looks like y equals mx plus b. I could distribute the 1 over here, and I could subtract the 1 to get y by itself. And here's my equation in slope intercept form. Okay, so I really have two correct answers here. I have y plus 1 equals 1, parentheses x plus 1. This is the point slope form. And y equals x is slope intercept form. So for this question, it didn't specify what format we want the answer in. So personally, I would just leave it in point slope form. I don't feel it's necessary to go and do the extra steps. We're going to follow that same rule in number eight. It doesn't tell us what format we want our answer in, so I'm going to leave my answer in point slope form. And I notice on this question that we want it to be perpendicular to y equals 3x, and that means we need slopes to be negative reciprocals. So the slope of y equals 3x is 3, so the negative reciprocal of that is negative 1 -third. Once I have that, I'm going to take all of my information and plug it into point slope form. And notice over where that plus 3 is, it was going to be y minus negative 3. I knew I, the minus negative was going to change to a positive or a plus sign, so I went ahead and did that already. So here is my answer for the equation of a line that's perpendicular to y equals 3x and passes through 1, negative 3. All right, let's try another one like that. On number nine, what's the equation of a line that is perpendicular to 3y equals 2x plus 12 and passes through 3, negative 6? Well, let's find out the slope of this given line first by getting y by itself. And I see that this line has a slope of 2 thirds. Since we are looking for a perpendicular line, I know that I need a slope that is a negative reciprocal, so my slope of my answer should be negative 3 over 2. Let's put that together with our point, and we get y plus 6 equals negative 3 over 2 times x minus 3 in parentheses, and there's our answer in point slope form. On number 10, what's the equation of a line that is parallel to y minus 4 equals 2 parentheses x plus 5 and passes through 3, 4? Well, the slope of this line is 2, so the slope of a parallel line is also going to be 2. Notice that that given line is in point slope form, so I don't need to get y by itself in order to identify the slope, although you could. And I'm going to take all of my information and plug it into point slope form to get my answer. All right, for number 11, we're going to look at a similar question, but this one's multiple choice. It says, what is the equation of the line that passes through 5, 3 and is parallel to 5x plus y equals 8? So if I take 5x plus y equals 8 and I get y by itself by subtracting 5x on both sides, I get y equals negative 5x plus 8. Since this question says parallel, I know that I need two lines um, that have the same slope. So I'm going to automatically cross off choices A and B because those do not have that same slope of negative 5. So at this point, I know my answer must be C or D. We have a couple of options of how we could choose between them. So I'm going to go through two of those main options here. Option one is to do the problem exactly like we did it on the other questions where we take our point and we take our slope and we plug it into point slope form. Since this doesn't match any of the answer choices, I do have to go forward here and actually get y by itself. 
and I get y equals negative 5x plus 28. So I can say, okay, my answer is choice C. If I didn't want to do it that way, well, what I'm also doing is trying to figure out which of these answer choices has 5, 3 as a solution. So what I could have also done is plug the point 5, 3, right, whatever point we're given. I could plug it in for x and y and see which one gives me a true statement. This gives me 3 equals 3. That works. It's true. So this means that this is going to be our answer. And just to show you that it doesn't work on choice D, if I plug the point in, you could even see right away here, 3 equals negative 25 minus 28 is definitely not going to be a true statement. So I know, okay, C has to be our correct answer. All right, and let's try one last problem on number 12. What is the equation of the line that passes through negative 2, 5 and is perpendicular to 6y minus 3x equals 10? All right, well, let's figure out what our slope has to be here. So I'm going to move the 3x to the other side of the equation, and I'm going to divide everything by 6. So I get y equals 1 half x plus 5 over 3. The slope of this line is 1 half. So since this problem in number 12 is asking about a perpendicular line, I know that my slope should be negative 2. Now, unfortunately, when we look at our answer choices here, none of them are in y equals format. So it might be hard right off the bat to cross some choices off. But let's start solving each answer choice for y. And let's see if we can cross anything out after we do that. So on A, if I divide everything by 2, I get y equals negative 2x plus 1. On B, divide everything by 2, I get y equals negative 2x plus 9. On C, divide everything by 2, I get y equals 1 half x plus 1. And on D, divide everything by 2, I get y equals 1 half x plus 9. Since I'm looking for a line that is perpendicular to 6y minus 3x equals 10. That line was the same as y equals 1 half x plus 5 over 3. I know I'm looking for a slope of negative 2. So I know that c and d are incorrect here. Those would have been parallel lines. And I'm left to choose between a and b. So we have a couple of options. I'm going to go with the direct option of using point slope form. And then I'm going to solve for y so that it will eventually match one of our answer choices. And I got choice a, y equals negative 2x plus 1, or the equivalent 2y equals negative 4x plus 2. Hopefully this video helped you understand the relationship between the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines.